Hello to me, it's me, Ghost and Possible Amigas. My name is Taffer16. Welcome back to another reaction video, and welcome to my reaction to Robot Wars. So, Robot Wars is a robot fighting competition that was broadcast on BBC Two from '98 to '04, and then again from '16 uh, to 2018. Uh, each series involves teams of amateur and professional roboters, roboters uh, operating their own constructed remote-controlled robots to fight against each other in an arena formed of steel and bulletproof glass fitted with arena hazards and containing arenas occupied by hostile and heavier house robots. Oh, shit. Uh, early series include assault and trial courses for competing robots as well. So, hmm, excuse me. The original show ran from 98 uh, to 04. As stated, uh, the first series was actually presented by Jeremy Clarkson until he was replaced uh, by Craig Charles for the rest of the original series. Then when it came back, uh, was it Dana O'Brien? Yeah, Dana O'Brien uh, hosted it. Darrow O'Brien, I'm sorry, not Dana. Darrow O'Brien hosted it with uh, Angela Scanton, uh, and that went for three series and then it ended again. So this was a Channel Points request from James. This is actually James' second straight Channel Points request. He also requested two pints. So thank you, James, for requesting this. Here's the deal with this. Um, the episode we're going to see is a Craig Charles episode. It's the four first episode of the fourth series, I believe. Now, if the quality is a little bit shit, I apologize, but this is the best we could get because for whatever reason, finding an episode on the internet from the original series is fucking impossible. Like, I, I previewed it a little bit to look at the quality. I'm like, oh, maybe I can find better than this. And I looked into it. Uh-uh. Like, <laughs> I, like, all I could find was the remake series. That's all I could find. I found one episode of the original series, and it was the first ever episode of the show with Jeremy Clarkson. And I figured from what people have told me, they'd want to see a uh, episode with uh, Craig Charles. So that's what we're doing. So if this is not the best quality, I'm sorry, but this is the best we can get. Thank you to whoever gave me this episode, by the way. I don't know if it was Rob or somebody else, but thank you, because this is all I have <laughs> as far as this show goes. Um, I think I can actually put this on YouTube, interestingly enough, though, so that's a plus. But let's go ahead and watch Robot Wars. All right, let's do it. That's about 45 minutes, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the man who it thought was Mussolini a was a type of lasagna, Craig Charles. Hey, there's the man. The dome has been a disaster. The aliens must have made a wrong turning. But one phenomenon that's definitely not going to disappoint in the year 2000 is Robot oh, Wars wow. 4. Some yes, 2000. folks, we know you've missed the okay. mayhem. We know you've craved the carnage. I'm just going to question imagine? the date. Yes, you. We know your life's been sad and empty without robots being ripped to shreds. You're right. Well, the long wait is finally over. Fuck because yeah. the wars are back, and we're bigger, we're badder, and we're downright more brutal than ever. Woo! That seems awesome. I want to see robots get fucked up. Oh, goddamn. Oh, he's blowing up. What the hell is that? Is that Predator? Awesome. Yes, each week six brand new robots will go head to head in the most vicious knockout competition ever. You want a destruction? Right? Well, we've got a skip load. Yeah. And as ever, not only will they be up against each other, they'll also be facing the ultimate mechanical menace. Oh shit! The house robots. What we got? A sturdy 112 oh, kilos metal has a 3,000 RPM circular saw and pneumatic pincers. I was going to say it has power. us. Quick at 5.4 meters per second Jesus. and now improved with a stronger exoskeleton. When the sparks fly, robots usually die. Damn, Bars. A lightweight at 105 Shut. kilos, but heavyweight when it comes to havoc. And no opponent can get off lightly at the end of a deadly diamond edge jack to blow with a force of over 500 kilos per square centimeter. A broadly bulldozer who's never caught napping. Matilda. Matilda. What Matilda. The Aussie Sheila can dance a bit, but does she have a chainsaw tail turning at over 3,000 RPM and hydraulic tusks operated by super pneumatic power? Oh Aren't shit! Aren't those dances <laughs> the cha cha ta ta? Filled militaristic masher who can warm the throttles of any robot's heart. When you know the mighty 120 kilos oh, and Lord. complex in the barracks with massive circuitry, but on the parade ground you better be at Try a breath, my dude. Oh god, there's more. Search a lot, that's, that's tremendous. That's the best fucking name. That's the one that looks like Predator. Got it. And here to keep the house robots in line is a new addition to the pack. What is he? He is Repbot. 
He would be boss. breaking up the fights, reigning in the house robots, and bringing odds to the chaos of the war zone. Now, not surprisingly, we've seen a record number of entries for Robot Wars. I would think and so. And joining our competitors in the pits. Yes, she's back again. Here's Philippe. And this time, she's brought along a friend. And yes, I have brought a friend. Did you this bring... is the reason why oh. I'm not going to be here much for this war. Holy shit. This is the most important friend, though. This is Julia. She's going to be looking after you and the Roboteers for the whole of this Robot Wars. And it will be a long one. Yeah, but you've been doing your homework. Wow, that's I have. Crazy. I've been looking up all the old favourites. Hit the disc, Razor. Chaos 2. I want to know who you think I should be looking at. That after. means her kids Chaos probably like want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it's off. A pretty, good, pretty destructive robot. Jesus. Yeah. But also, you've got the newcomers to look out for as well. That's crazy. As we know, they come from all walks of life. Students, fathers, brothers, mothers, best friends. None of them will be talking to each other by the end of the war. You know that, don't probably you? Probably not. Now. Carnage, both for metal and man and, and, man. and woman. Anyway, I'm going to do the... Ceremonial handing over of the mic. Really? And say, please look out for Chaos 2. Yes. Hypnotist. Yes. And my little dear tour team from Ireland. Ah, I've spotted them already. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. I'm going to buy She's like, I've never had a microphone before. <laughs> Everyone is really going to miss her. I'll put the mic. Sure do. I'm going to work. This Hi, year, Julia. just like Wimbledon, we've seen our top 32 teams based primarily on past battle performance. And here's Jonathan Pierce with a closer look at some of those top contenders, all with one aim. That's a haircut, bro. That's a 2000s haircut. Who is the best? Who is the best? That's it. In each of the 16 heats, we'll have two seeded robots. Let's have okay. a quick flick through the list. At 26, Plunderbird 4. Plunder Storm was their machine last time around. Not effective in the arena, but boy, did they make a song and dance out of it. We are the crew, and we're here to tell you we're going to pass them. We're going to trash them. In the war, you know we're going to trash them. The forecast, oh my God. you better get running. It's going to be tough. There's a Plunder Storm coming. Really? <laughs> At 23, Mortis, Rob Knight, What's Arthur Chilcott, never popular, but always fiercely competitive. Good machine, too. A lifting arm and that very, very damaging axe. Nice. But perhaps poor driving has cost oh. them once or twice in the past. Oh, that's it, oh Lord. Oh. <laughs> Up to 19 in the seating list, Pussycat. Yes! New competitors last summer round did well in the heat, but then their illegal hardened steel blade shattered, breaking the rules. Oh. And they were axed. The judges have had to vote for you being disqualified. Rip. Let's come back next year. And here they are. Wheelie really Big Cheese. Forces above them, Wheelie really Big Cheese, Roger yeah. Plant's mighty monster, proved that a oh new match for Chaos 2, who had to nibble great. And finally, ease beyond the cheese. What's that say? Jesus. Let's move up to number 11. Wild wow. thing with the Adams family. Unlucky to go out to a very, very good panic attack well, machine. Sick. Wild thing, colourful, charismatic, capable oh, of Lord. chaos also. Oh, shit. Lots of fun. But it's not about fun, is it? It's about winning the grand title. And, and that's fun. what our top seeds had in mind. Beamoth there at six, Firestorm two at oh, five, no. Panic Attack at four. Now they won the series two. And Razor, seeded three, have won just Razor. about everything except the grand Holy title. Shit. They won the International League Championship. And that crushing beak is one of the strongest weapons anywhere. They My even Lord. beat Chaos 2 in the first World Championships. That's terrifying. Seeded 2, Hypno Disc, frighteningly oh destructive. That spinning disc can take Holy out virtually shit. anything, anyone. They did all the way through to the grand final in the Fuck last me. wars. That's when they met our top seeds. What does he look like? Chaos 2. Oh, God. Seemingly unstoppable. Look at the power and the flip up. Holy shit. The speed shit. across the arena floor. The style, the control, the aggression. It's got the lot. And that's why Chaos 2 are our worthy top seeds. Oh, Lord. Ahead of us are All hell Chaos 2. Total demolition. The winner of each will go through to one of the two semi finals. And ultimately, Four survivals were squared up for the title of Robot Wars Champion. Okay. For the fourth wars, we have a change to round one. Three robots will fight it out in two metal mashing melees, gotcha. where one will be eliminated from each battle. The remaining robots then go head to head for a place in the semi finals. And if that wasn't enough devastation for you, we'll also be playing a pinball warrior tournament and a sumo basho. Just God damn. for the love of it. Are you lucky, lucky grapple fans or what? Well, it's going to be a great series, and I can't wait to get wrecking, so... Me neither. Let's meet our first victims! Hell yeah, brother!
Let's have they line up, Craig, to come our second battle. King B is a reincarnation of King Buxton from the last series, seeded 17. But first, oh, the reigning champions and top seeds, Chaos 2 against new bots, Atomic and Indefatigable. Good and luck, fuckers. <laughs> the first terrific trio for us. In the pits, we oh, have Lord. the reigning champions, Chaos 2. Looking like they're taking it all very easy. Eating your cake? Yep, yep. That confident? Yep, there's nothing to do. It's working at the moment, so. At the moment, he says. Mind you, I have to say, my money would probably be on him for this one. Here we have Atomic, the farmers from Worcester. Looking like you're making some last minute touches up. Confident? Yeah. They've also got a lifting <laughs> device like Chaos and putting the two against each other. He's like, please get away from me. Beyond. Who are you? Anyway, here we have Indefatigable. Indefatigable. The guy's looking a little bit sort of cross between ER and Star Trek here. Now, what does your, what's the name of your robot mean? The name of our robot means that it's unstoppable and unstoppable. can't. And can't be wrecked. Can't be wrecked and unstoppable. And you have a wonderful message. He's like, no God. About the spirit of robot wars. It's not the one that's taking part that counts. Yeah. Beautifully trained. Well done. Good He's up. like, please get away from well, me. <laughs> I'm just itching to get bashing. So <laughs> Poor let kid. the wars begin. Woo! Hell yeah, brother. I'm ready for murder. George's instruction, indefatigable. And indestructible, they hope, with an aluminium body from an old quarry truck and plastic panels from recycled phone boxes. Wow. Two lifting spikes are powered by electricity and it can raise speeds of 70 miles an hour. Our robot is called Indefatigable and the wheels are from uh, wheelie bins and <laughs> the outside is recycled polycarp from telephone boxes and the inside is aluminium. This is a um, main weapon for lift truck. And it can lift oh. 75 kgs. In that's a, that's a word that we say very good. I think we say aluminum. Right sure saying that. Very different. Scrap aluminium has been used for this shell. Atomic costs around about a thousand pounds to build. Bulldozer shape with a flipper blade Sremex system, a self writing mechanism. Sound like two different words. I'm pretty sure it's the heaviest though. in the heat. Hello, I'm Team Captain. This is Paul. This is Dave. This is our robot, Atomic. Hell yeah, bro. Polycarbonate sides for protection. It's got twin lifting rams. The cylinders run on nitrogen. It runs on 24 volt motors. And we've got a sharp blade here. Nice. From Ipswich, seed number one and reigning champion, Chaos 2. Oh, Only cost shit, 250 brother. pounds to build the champs. The gas flippers hugely powerful. The ground clearance is a tiny one millimeter. Lawnmower motors used to drive the top seeds. And in the last series of wars, Chaos 2 flipped and forced its way through the heat's immovable and irresistible. Good control, causing damage, neat trim style, Fuck steady me. aggression, steady progress. Oh. All challenges Jesus. welcomed, all dispatched by the Fuck. team members, George <laughs> Francis, Ian Swan and his son Holy Richard. Shit. And now celebrities back in Ipswich, and here once again with a Suffolk punch. Fucking killed him, bro. Hi, we're back. We won the last war. We've changed nothing on the robot. Nice. The only thing that changes my beard in a desperate attempt to look younger. He's like, we didn't change shit. Fuck y'all. We come back here the same shit. We're gonna whoop your ass again. The first battlers I of the love new it. wars. Indefatigable. Brian Oliver at the controls. Richard Pittman and Daniel Lloyd. Atomic. Stephen Bebb. David Bebb and Paul Francis. And the reigning champions, Chaos Two. Ooh. As ever, George Francis at the controls. Ian and Richard come on. with him. I want two. One. Come on, Brett. Chaos 2, quickly out of the traps, as ever, on the attack under George Francis. Oh, jeez. Taking on Atomic. Pick it, pick it. Fuck him up. Flipper. So powerful. Fuck him up. Atomic bravely spinning against oh, the reigning oh. champions. Looks like an Zero evil printer. Circle. In he comes again, George Francis on the attack. Taking on Indefatigable, first of all. The new boys clash to Oh, got him. Oh! Fuck him. Rain from the grinding blades of the oh, yeah, shit. That evil printer just robots, fuck your shit! But any obstacle can be overcome! And the stream exits the Oh god! But indefatigable now up at his side! And they have no self-running mechanism! And indefatigable out of the competition! You now, fuckers got nothing! Again, this is needless! Both of them are through, but George Francis loves to create some metallic legends. Oh god! I'm the boss of the arena! Do not take me on! I am a champion! I'll have you later Good on! Good lord! In the and this is what I can do to you! Don't ever, ever forget it! Fuck! George Francis up those atomic! And in the background, Indefatigable is a plaything. Where's Rathbot, bro? Burned 
and charcoal. He's really out. Indefatigable. <laughs> yeah. Invincible. Yeah. Invisible Holy more shit. like. Shit, he just fucked yeah, bro. And there goes indefatigable. Inflammable, hardly. Oh, so come large. on! Can't gain anything from the short bronze except sheer delight! Where's oh, Ref Bot? Oh my god! Not in the arena anymore, indefatigable! Over and out! Jesus! Look at this! Bounce, bounce, bonk. Oh, that was so oh, unnecessary. In the driving pods. That's good. Well, Chaos 2 did it to Firestorm in the grand final of the Third Wars. Good and he's god. done it again. Indefatigable, flipped out of the ring and out of the competition. It's pretty tough being up against Chaos 2, is it not? I'm gonna get that George Francis as well, I see him. I'm gonna get him. But he did at least sort of save you from the house robots. He's he? traumatized, oh, look at him. Yeah, we're glad that he did flip us out because we'd have had a lot more damage. We were glad of that. Mm, philosophical, but out. Indefatigable. Oh, and next up, King B3. Atomic, you don't deserve to stay after that. Two jewels in the pitch. The Medusa team here, Medusa 2000, still making last-minute preparations. These guys apparently had a few hiccups when they were building their robots, something to do with gear wheels flying across the room at them. It's quite scary, I think. Oh, Attila the Hun, the drama, nice. even all these play on words are confusing me, still making changes here. These guys think they're going to be all right as long as they avoid the pits. Good luck to you guys. Aisha here oh, had fun knocking her gran off her chair with that robot. And King Buxton the third. Simon is back with a new team of competitors. What are you going to do uh, about that fire hazard of loss? Uh, the fire hazard, well, we've got ducted cooling on the motors now, um, but uh, we're full of petrol. So uh, when it goes up, it'll really go up. It's really going to go. Oh, yep. Well, good luck to you guys. Uh, there's a bit of tension here, but we're tense. I'm sure you'll do it. Thank you. Good luck. All to play for. Oh, Lord. Bro, Chaos 2 just fucking all like shit. I can't believe that. A Mason pickaxe means there's nothing hum drum about Attila. A Kev Marshall protects the 24 volt motors. The drum rolls both sides up in the bits flipped over and the beats up tempo, speed reaching 15 miles an hour. Hi, we're Team Battlebot. I'm Team Captain Bernie. This is Aisha and this is Tony. And here's our robot, Attila the Drum. He's sick. Our main weapon is a mace with sharpened edges. Nice. And we have a secondary weapon, which is an axe. Oh shit. Inside the shell, we have floating electrics. Underneath, there are two 20 volt batteries. Yeah. Volt batteries. Uh, we have fluff and the tassel to burn and die. Yeah. And that's about it. From Hornchurch, seed number 17, B3. Oh, Petrol powers the 9 inch circular saw, electricity powers the lifting and flipping spikes. What did they say about most of the four thousand to, to creating B3? They're back for a third crack at robot wars. And in the last wars, this was the minute the dream died for Simon up against 101. The opposition didn't win it, King Buxton lost it when it caught fire. Oh, and they intend to prevent that happening again. Well, hopefully, that doesn't happen again. Hi there, Simon. Grant and Tony, back with the uh, King V3, new derivative of the uh, King Buxton series. Um, it's an all new robot, back from nice. the last two wars, um, but we've uh, toughened it up. Uh, Hopefully it doesn't catch fire. Steel. We've gone out twice before for overheating, but we've got cooling on the motors, we've got a new engine on the back. All right. We've been seeded, so um, I think everyone's going to be expecting goods from us. Uh, I hope so. Hopefully we're going to deliver. From Manchester, Medusa 2000. Oh, Rear right. rotating blades give Medusa her snake like fight. The front can bulldoze and tip electric power with a zero turning circle. Oh, and if the lights go out, she probably glows in the dark. This is Medusa 2000, our robot. I'm Michael. This is Don. Oh, this is Graham. Around the front, it's got a lifting arm which pushes down, lifts the robot up, and it runs on two ball bearings at the front to run while the front gets up. The motors are from an old plotter to the front of it off. It's made almost entirely from the sack of parts around the back. It's got a tube that spins with blades on it to take on the nice. robots. Roboteers, stand by. Here we go then, Attila the drum, Bernie Ryder at the controls, Tony and Aisha mm. with him. King B3 with Simon Harris and the captain, Tony and Grant right. there too. And Medusa 2000, Don Weir, Graham Barron and Michael Ten, Barron. I'll put money two, on Medusa. One. Place your bet. Slow, steady start. Wait. The drum picking up pace. Wheeling furiously. Oh, wait, there's only one eliminated, mace. though. All there right. Spikes of King I'll say the drum eliminated. See. And Medusa 2000 has that tipping front. Oh, Lord. Attila. 
moves forward sluggishly to build up an attack. That was King oh, B3 geez. up on top of Medusa 2000, dodging the flames of Tiller. Oh, fuck him up! You can see there the sparks from the grinders. Holy shit. On the side of the arena, and, and the tiller's caught fire, the little tassels have caught fire, it would see. Oh, I knew also it. Also see the great tough and plastic screen. Oh, no, got it. This year, they stop shrapnel flying away. The sergeant comes in with the flick of the flamethrower. Propane filled. And it's a tiller. Oh, you're real fucked, bud. Here. No, the tires have caught fire. I knew this drum was Will fucked, bro. Holy fire, shit. Funeral pyre. Attila, Sad to watch. This time, getting up a little bit of head of steam, it would seem. King B3. Are the thralls just bent a little bit, I wonder? This is Medusa 2000, staying out of trouble largely. Yeah, Greatly aggressive. Idea. Should it go to the judges? Now, vote on style, control, damage, aggression. As in previous series of Robot Wars. There's the style we can see being used. I think and drums out. Wheel spin for Medusa 2000. And it would go to the judges, it seems. The drum's gotta be out. Close contest. And the it took so much fucking damage. On control style damage and aggression by our three judges. Professor Noel Sharkey, head of computer science at the University of Sheffield and director of the creative robotics unit at Magna. Nice. Martin Smith, head of the Mobile Robotics Research Unit at the University of East London and chairman of the Cybernetic Society. Jesus. And we're delighted to welcome here Dr. Myra Wilson, head of Intelligent Robotics and Computer Science from the University of Wales, Aberystwyth. And let's have a look at the That's key awesome. moments they'll be reviewing right now. I think the drums out. It took, three, it took so much 2000 damage. Straight into competition and fighting, but until the drum was slow to get involved there. For me, King B3 did enough aggressive... Uh, Medusa damage, was a little certain, but not doing much, but the, the drum, drum took so much cumbersome. And Medusa 2000 stayed out of the action too long. It's between those two, for me, who goes out. That's true, though. Medusa didn't judges. stay out. But it seems they're nearing their decision now, look. Well, the judges have come back based on style, control, damage, and aggression. Attila the drum is eliminated. Yeah, I knew it. Fucking called it. Bring me my tenor. Not a popular decision. Nonetheless, Attila the drum. It was the right one. Indefatigable, already gone. I know Medusa Four didn't do much, left. but the drum got fucked. This is how they up line so up for the heat semi-final. Oh, season. good luck, Arthur. Medusa. <laughs> King B3. Oh, you're fucked, bud. What have you got to say about that? Well, I thought we'd done enough. I thought we sort of gave him a good back. Well, because so. we attacked the house robots and got to the other ones. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't think the main tactic was to stay out of the pit. You didn't think about the judges, did you? But what can we do? No, that's right. Final. Yeah. Be back yeah. though. Oh yeah, definitely. Excellent. Yeah. Awesome. It looked good anyway. Good show. Right, thanks. And so some more competitors right. hit the scrap heap. But they'll be glad to know there's a chance to salvage some dignity oh. in our pinball warrior tournament. Each robot has to score as many points as they can by attempting various challenges. The harder the challenge, the more points are awarded. Okay. And the robot with the highest score at the end of the series will be crowned our Pinball Warrior Champion. Bet. If only they can keep away from the jaws, saws, and metal crunching claws of the house robots. Barf. Hey, let the trials begin! Hell yeah, brother! Now, pinball's a test of driving power and precision to pick up points. The arena's dotted with specific obstacles to hit. Two sets of barrels, five points for each barrel. Hit the big silver sphere into the highlighted shallow pit, that's 25 points. Okay. Up and over the ramp, you'll get 20 points, but you've got to go all the way up and over the ramp. And that'll take you to the multi-ball release option. Ten points for releasing the multi-ball, five points for each orange ball into the pit. Open the car doors, you'll get 25 points. And all around the arena, the major targets. 50 points, guarded by Bash. 50 points, guarded by Matilda. 75 points, but Whoa. dead metal's there, and Sir Killalot has free reign of the arena. Let's see From who's Jesus. up first. Scene number nine, 101. Good to see them back there. Seated nine in the main competition. From Kettering, Mike and Amy Franklin. Amy carries with her a little bunny mascot wherever she goes. Stand by. Hold on. Tracks are made from a milk Three, washing machine. Two, nice. One. All right, you got the car batteries for the power. 
and straight for the barrels. Barrels. Right, uh, Got it. 15 points. That's easily done now. Get over the ramp. No killer locks there. Oh, no. Straight to Bash. Well, Bash is guarding one of the targets. 50 points. Oh, Lord. That's a strange decision. Bad control. Not up and over the ramp completely, so that won't score you anything. Nope. Bash Boy. waits again. The spear is rolling, but not towards the fitness of Laney. Boy. Oh, bad move, bro. Why are you taking on Killalot? Why? Why? I don't understand. Underneath the ramp. Won't score your points either. Come on, come on, come on. Time is ticking down. Oh, boy. So the multi ball release. Nice. That's good. 10 points gain now. If any of those balls go into the pit, that's another 5 points each ball. Oh, Jesus. Get through that car door. Nice. They hit the 75 point target. That counted, yeah. Good work. 101. Or just hide. 101 points up yet. Just hide. <laughs> Cagey, steady sort of run, but not spectacular. Generous applause. Right. Wow, damn. Yeah, they believe they could have done better. They got over a steady points. start. Yes, I got the 75. They needed that. Now, does that constitute a correct run up and over the ramp? The judges will have to decide that one. If they've gone up and over the ramp, that's not a bad run, you know. All told, because they picked up points elsewhere quite steadily. There's the 75. That's a big one to get. And the judges say 125 points. Oh, wow. That's not a bad start. They gave them the ramp. At least they're top of the leaderboard after the one run. Okay. Well, for all you pinball punters soon, but now it's back to the wars. I bet. Craig to come, King B3 against oh, the Summit, the first no. up underdogs, Medusa 2000 against the Champs, Chaos 2, who are with Jules right now in the pit. Medusa, you're Here fucked, we are bro. The tension is hotting up, you can see the arena through there, it's being prepared for the next round, which will be Chaos 2 Hell yeah, bro. against Medusa 2000. Now, how do you feel about that? You've seen him in action. Um, yeah, this one runs both ways up, so this could be interesting. Ah, um, now what about their weaponry? Well, they didn't do the shit. Um, so, but they're still going to be difficult because they can go both ways up. Okay. We can flip them, but so what? So, so what do you think your tactics will be? Um, Fuck them up. Out the arena. <laughs> I think they're worried. They're asking about where the nearest car boot sales were and things before. They're going to retire it and it's a lawnmower. A robot lawnmower. Oh dear, they're not sounding too confident, but not surprising. Jesus. Y'all are fucked. Come on, Chaos! Fuck him up! Roboteers, stand by. Yeah. So Killalot ominously looks on, Medusa 2000, Don Weir at the controls, a computer <laughs> engineer, and Chaos 2, George Francis, self-employed electronics engineer at the controls Three, as ever. Two, one. Let's get it! Come on, fuck him up! Oh, there we go! <laughs> underneath Medusa 2000. Has a five centimeter ground clearance, but you can't run now, Medusa. Oh, oh, oh God, it's a chasm. Oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, holy shit. Oh my God, on the attack, but on its side, also the wheel spinning, but going nowhere. She's back to the arena floor can start again there. Oh my god. Oh, stop the damn match. Stop the damn match. Oh my god. Medusa 2000 hopelessly outclassed at this level. Oh my god. attack as well. George Francis at the controls. Medusa 2000 going very near Sergeant Bash. And in trouble backing onto Sergeant Bash's claws. Oh my god. And having its axle bent and buckled. The front oh, stop the damn back. match! Oh my god! Oh, oh Jesus! Oh no! No! Oh. In comes Chaos Two again! Oh! Just run, Medusa! Just run! Oh God! There's a predator. Dead metal. And Sergeant Bash oh, in the pit, shit. pit, 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 p
fuck, bro. Flippity doodle, flippity day. When the reigning champs in the arena, you get out of the way. The winner, Bars. Chaos 2. Bro, that was a slaughter. Jesus. Well, I was talking to you chaps in the pits, and you were very, very confident. What went wrong? Shit in the bed. Everything. Yeah? <laughs> what was your game plan? Why did you think you were going to win? Wishful thinking. Wishful thinking. <laughs> It's a tough robot. It kept on going. I mean, it, it took a, a, a tremendous amount of punishment. First of all, you were flipped backwards and forwards. Holy then, of course, shit. you're getting Sergeant Bash's zone. And he at you at your wheels. I think you're a bit eager, though, for the house robots. They weren't that eager. You end up in their zone. You're not complaining, now, are you? I'll be Salt. <laughs> Chaos 2. You're the reigning champs. Good oh, God. You've caught the imagination of the public. Who the fuck is going to beat that? magazines and stuff like that as well, haven't you? Yeah, we have, yeah. We've yeah. done a load of charity bashes and things. So it's been really good. We've never had a robot that has hung on to the title. Do you think you've got a chance? Yeah, we have yeah, got I a chance. So. It's, you know, it's tough going, but we have got a chance. I know this young man, you're not so confident about clinging on to the title, are you? Well, I'm hopeful. You're hopeful? Oh, hopeful, there you go. not certain. No. Never mind. Realism. There's nothing wrong with that. That's fair. So... Your game plan only seems to be, though, just flipping them out of the arena. Well, a robot like that, there's nothing else we can do with it. Um, it'll run both ways up. It's either down the pit or over the fence. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, pick it up. Chaos 2! What a fucking moron. Now, one thing I've got to ask you guys. You, because of the high, the pneumatics involved, you've only got a certain number of flips, haven't you? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Do you ever worry that every flip has to be perfect and tactical? Um, yes. I mean, that one I started to run out towards the end. Um, so, yeah, we have to be a little bit careful. A brave bit by Medusa 2000, but they're out. Now, who will play Chaos 2 in the ass. final? Atomic or can be three for all their problems? I guess it's now, brave to like show up. We have already had a small fire. We, yeah. A very small fire. Now, small motors that drive the arm up and down at the front, so we've lost that now. Uh -oh. But we've still got the spikes, we've still got the saw, we've repaired the saw, so we can still do some damage. I mean, that does sound good. So, so, what's your Achilles heel if those fans don't work? It can still go up. It yeah. can still be a bigger fire, yeah. I mean, start with a small one, we could be building up. What do you think the weakness of your opponent is? Size, I suppose. Yeah? Because you're quite sturdy, aren't you? You're quite hefty. You're there, Seems basically. Yeah. <laughs> I, I could give you a little tip now, actually. Uh, but I won't. Damn, what the fuck? Roboteers, stand by. Oh, Jules, you tease. Yeah, King B3 on the right, Atomic on the left. King B3, you know it has a problem. They know it has a problem. It catches fire, Atomic. I didn't tell you, boys, okay? Three, two, one. Jesus. Activate. The Tommy Cat? Oh, wait. Three, three, steering away from wait, the trouble. So the king catch his fire or the Tommy? The circular saw and the lifting, flipping spikes. Come on, Atomic. The Atomic boys have that flipper blade baby. at the front. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Fuck him up. Levering King B3 into the Hell yeah, brother. Oh. The spikes, though, will come into play to test that uh, shell of Atomic. It's made from scrap alley. Oh, nice. Things. Dead metal comes out of the CP. Oh shit! The Come on, Tommy. So now you go in there, and the house yeah, will attack it. you. Don't go in there. Why nice. Oh, it's fucking. Um, oh, right. flip, bitch! Well, now what they're going to do? Atomic on the attack, certainly pushing King B3 into that CPZ. Ooh, there's kill a lot. And off oh goes God! The flipping blade of Atomic. Oh no! Slam into the arena wall. Oh Buckles shit, and dog. Is that is unfortunate. No! Nope. Fuck damage. him up. Hit him against the, the wall. Have a look. And there's the red cam. Well, that's the best form of attack all of Hey, yo, pit him. Is that smoke I can see for King B3? Oh! He's catching fire! Come on, Atomic! I think that smoke. Yes, it is. They are immobilized. That's why. Let's go. Out of the CPZ, he sensed an immobilized robot is there for the kill. Let's go, Atomic. And slowly comes into view. Pit, 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 pit. Well, 
Well, that is where B3 wow. is heading. King B3, not to a crown, but to Peace, a homie. despair. Once Let's go. Into smoke. Atomic loss is played. Deal with your ass. Explosive, but the winners are Atomic. Hell yeah, brother. Good shit. King Buxton now, it's King B3. You've been here three times. Yeah. It's getting worse every time. No, it's, it's not good. It's not been good this year for us, I'm afraid. It was a bit of a mercy killing for you in a way, because you were immobilised on the left-hand side, weren't you? I thought he was going to do something a bit more action from Killalot there. I was waiting for him, come on, come on, Killalot, you know, give me your best, kill us. He didn't want to break your heart. He didn't want to completely wreck your robot. He just put <laughs> you in the pit where you belong. I was ready for it. He was, was ready, ready for, for it, it. Yeah. So you did tell me you've got to come back and one day you've got to win this war. For sure. Probably not. Good It'll take lads. ten years, but we're going to do it. Yeah. The labouring <laughs> under delusions are the boys. Uh, yes, they are. So listen, you're the new kids on the block, but you did really well there. Yes, we did, yeah. Who was the driver? You're the driver. Yeah. Ah, but you had a bit of an accident. I mean, you lost a bit of your flipper there. Is that going to be a difficult to repair? Hopefully not, no. Yeah. So you reckon you'll be up and running for the next round? Yeah, hopefully. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Atomic! <laughs> Well, that's good job. Upset, baby. B3 eliminated along with Medusa 2000. Now that leaves the heat final between the top seeds. The oh, no. Against very much the underdogs Atomic. Oh, Craig, give us a breather, will you? Let's oh, have time to Atomic. Fix my job, batteries, please. It was nice knowing While your brother. While surviving robots go off to solder their <laughs> wounds, we're going to take some time out for some wanton demolition. Okay. Yes. It's the return of our sumo basho. It's the ultimate shoving match. The longer each competing robot can stay in the ring, the higher up the series leaderboard they'll go. Okay. But of course, it's Shunt they're up against, and he doesn't like being pushed around. So, get ready to slap the fat and let the trials begin. Hell yeah, brother. Poor Tommy, but it's fucked up so hard. And seated number 10, Spawn of Scutter. Back again, last series they had Scutter's Revenge, knocked out of the semi-final stage of the main event, weighing in at 78.8 kilos, a test wow. of pure strength against Shunt. Roboteers, stand by. Alright, look. Three, two, one. Sumo! And it's very simple. You've just got to stay in there as long as you can. That's Wait. the main A. Dodging shunt. A wise move. Oh. <laughs> Not long enough. Dear, oh dear. Rip. <laughs> shunt victorious. They didn't last long, did they? No. Spawn of Scutter scuttling out of the arena. <laughs> I'm more dissatisfied my ex-wife. From Durham, seed number five. Firestorm. Oh, let's well, go. Well, they were finalists in the main event last time. Oh, wow. They finished they... joint third grand bone and Alex They had the Wang honor of kilos. losing the Atomic 2 last time, huh? Nippy around the arena floor as well normally. Honor. Could do well. Come on, Firestorm. Three, two, one. Samba. Activate. Move to your left, Firestorm. Yep, that's the tactic I would have used. Oh, God. <laughs> well... My tactic was good then, wasn't it? Fuck him up! <laughs> Four seconds. Yeah, splendid stuff. I think they made the right move, honestly, but straight onto the bullseye of shut down. Jesus. The they couldn't get any traction, and it's zoom over and out for them. Nah. Not a good time. Only 4.21 seconds. Boy. Spawn of Scut 8.03. Surely not Ooh, the scorpion. benchmark for future. Destructible. <laughs> More hot children later in the series, but right now, it's on with the wars. Come on. Oh, my boy. Are you surprised Let's to see them? Go. I'm not. Chaos 2, the top seeds. Oh, Atomic. I'm so, I feel so bad for, for you, brother. Do I see George Walsh is actually doing some work? Oh, but you did say the word problem there a second ago. That means the pressure's hit you. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's a lot in it for Atomic, but there's a lot in it for you as well. Yeah. However, this is the one I hit the camera with earlier today in the melee. So, oh. quietly confident. Oh, yeah. Confident. Even though they build agricultural vehicles, you think a Chaos 2 can lift them because they're obviously yeah. quite weighty. Hopefully, yeah. How's the flipper? Have you sorted it? Yeah. What have it's you done to it? it? Have you done anything to it? Reinforced it. Yeah, I made it a bit stronger. Put it back on. A bit of welding yeah, happening down there. Yeah, put some gussets on the top. Some spikes on. Yeah. Spikes versus the awesome flipper of Chaos 2. 
Who knows? Bit of luck. Could be yours. Bit of luck on your side, it could be yours. Yeah, I wish you the best of luck. I'm, I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> you guys are fucked. <laughs> From Ipswich, seed number one and reigning champions, the Chaos 2 team. The evil friend. From Worcester, Atomic. Into the arena come our gladiators. George Francis, an amateur physicist at the controls of Chaos 2. Four one out for Steven Atomic. Final with Atomic. This is how Chaos 2 got to this stage. Had a fight at Atomic earlier on. But then disposed of indefatigable. Oh, yeah. Finally, Jesus. getting rid. But then it was on to Medusa. Bro, Medusa did no, no chance. There. Medusa got fucked so hard. Onto the arena floor flipper. And having survived. The battle with Chaos 2 Atomic, and in the head-to-head, -head, got rid of the seeded King B3. Yeah, Atomic did Now, good. this was a worthy victory. King B3 immobilized, and the pitch. Roboteers, stand by. Oh, There's God. Atomic. Certainly bumped and bruised. Yeah, he's... Stephen, David, Bed, Paul Francis, and Chaos 2. Oh, Lord. I'm There's George Francis. Pour one out for Atomic, his. boys. Oh, shit. Oh, here we go, brothers. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my fucking God. And again. Roly poly. And what? Oh, and the Bebs and Paul Francis oh, do about that. Oh my Atomic god. Has nowhere to go. Oh my god. <laughs> the top speed is 50 <laughs> mile an hour. The current speed is that minus 10. Oh my god. Going nowhere fast. Going out of the arena imminently. Jesus. If Chaos 2 can use that flipper properly, can get a run up. Well, it's all over, oh isn't it? Atomic's finished. Oh my god. It's now just a question whether it lasts in the arena. In towards. Oh my Kill god. Blinking oh, get out of there! Eyes. Kill up comes out and has a go at Chaos 2, I think. This is out of trouble, George Francis. And now, of course, the mere bauble and plaything of Kill is atomic. Goodness me, look at that. Just slicing through metal. It's grisly to. Oh it. my Ooh. god. I was going to say creasing, but it's sort of folding, destroying, buckling. Absolutely wrecking. Dear God. Imagine the work that goes into that over the months. We'll plan it like Poor this. Poor Atomic, bro. They had here, no we'll chance. That, put the engine here, and then Kilowatt comes in and says, well, I'll just mash you up completely. On to the flipper. One, two, three. What an absolute murder. Oh, come on. Again. Chaos 2 to me seems stronger than ever before. Bro. Speedier than ever before. And deadlier than ever before. Good God. Jesus. Well, Fuck. Atomic turns into Atomic Kitten. Yeah. No nuclear threat there. Chaos 2 through to the series semi finals. Bro, that was. They didn't break a fucking sweat. To come up against the reigning champions, wasn't it? Very unfortunate. And they are on awesome form, aren't they? Yes, very powerful. Yeah. Did you? Did something happen to your motor? It just seemed to die straight away or something. As soon as you were flipped, it, you never really got going again after yeah, that. Yeah, you had your batteries fun. fell out. Assault and battered. Yes. <laughs> never mind. You'll come back next year, won't yeah, you? Yeah, we will. Okay. Good All luck, right. guys. Well, you heard me say it. You are on awesome form, aren't you? Mm. Have you made any <laughs> adaptations to the robot? No, it seems to be flipping so much stronger, though. It was doing that last year. Just, it just seems so oh, much more powerful. And, and it seems quicker. Uh, no. No? It's the same as it was last year. Well, you heard it before to you, you know, no one has ever, ever retained the Robot Wars title. But you're, you're looking at a We've safe We've got to try for it now, haven't we? We've got to go for oh, it. Oh, yeah. we really have got to go for it. Anyway, Who the fuck's gonna beat that robot? The series, Fucking nobody. There's no way to. Chaos 2! I'm not gonna look it up. You can tell me in the comments if you want. But, like, there's no way they didn't win again. Since Who the fuck possibly beat that? Doors, there's but no nothing way. quite so wicked as Robot Wars. Bye bye. Goodbye, buddy. God damn, that was awesome. <laughs> Holy shit.
Again, you can spoil it for me if you want, because I don't know if I can... I'd like to do more of this, but I don't know where the fuck I'm going to find other episodes. Like, if I do more, I'd even have to probably do a new episode or if I one Jeremy Clarkson episode, but, like, good God, unless Rob can buy it. That was such a murder. Like, there's just no way anybody beat Chaos 2 again. I'd be shocked if they didn't win that series as well. Like, there's no way. They just... That was just fucking boys versus men. That was a complete fucking ass whooping. That was so awesome. Like, holy shit. Chaos 2 just wrecked shit. I, I doubt anybody beat that. I, I doubt anybody beat it. Like, that's so awesome. Oh, Jesus Christ. Excuse me. Well, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that a lot. I hope you did as well. Uh, if we do more in the future, I'll try to see where I can find some. <laughs> We'll, we'll figure something out, maybe, but man, holy shit, all hell chaos, too. That was an absolute murder. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for my reaction to Robot Wars. I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you did as well. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitter, I stream every single day. My second channel, for you to use my Twitter. If you want to follow me on my Patreon, if you want to support me on my daily motion and my video, all those things are down in the description down below. Thank you to all 73 of my patrons currently named in the description. If you don't know, you can be a patron of me for $1 or one pound. You next to the reaction videos. Those are written in your comments a day early in your name in the description. Also, in the description is linked community rate as well as the daily schedule as well as Twitch VOD's channel. With all that being said, though, my name is Tafford's team. This has been my reaction to Robot Wars, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.